Hey everyone, and welcome back. I'm Mr. Stoltz. So how's everyone feeling? It's 2017 and there's already been a few really good releases and the rest of 17 is hopefully gonna be a really good year. Is there a few pairs that you're looking forward to? Myself, I'm really looking forward to um, the Jordan 1 Royals and a few of the Yeezys that's coming out as well. So there's actually a lot of different shoes coming out this year that's really, really good. Anyways, for this weekend, I'm not gonna make a detailed review like I more or less almost, uh, always do. So I have a few older shoes and a few newer shoes that I picked up recently that I'm gonna make, uh, instead of one really sh long video of one pair, I'm gonna make three shorter of three different pairs. Sounds good? Okay. So I picked up three pairs recently, and the first pair is the Adidas NMD OG Prime Knit. I got two different boxes right here. I got this one from 2015 and this one from this weekend, and I'll take a little uh, quick look and see if there are any differences at all. The second pair is the Yeezy Boost 350 V2, black, white, Oreo, whatever you want to call it. And the third pair is actually my first pair of 3.0 Ultra Boost. Uh, I'm a big fan of Uncaged, so that's why I've never really bought a pair of the 3.0. I know everyone has been, has been telling me, you have to buy the 3.0, you have to buy it, but I'm like, I love the Uncaged, so why buy a 3.0 when I love it? But anyways, I'm gonna try it out, so let's go. Okay, so let's start looking at the first box. Let's move these ones right here, these ones right here, and let's start with this one. We have the same GC350 V2 box, 350 here, Boost here, uh, I got on a size 11 and a half, always go half a size up. I keep telling that, but if you go to go with your true to size, it's gonna be a little bit too tight. In my opinion, some might disagree, but this is only my opinion, so let's start. Uh, inside we have the 350 V2, the Oreo colorway. And a funny thing about this shoe is that I thought that this stripe was gonna be white, white. I thought it's going to be paper white. I don't know why. Even the pictures at Adidas uh, online store, it was a little bit off white, bone white, so to say. But I still thought it's going to be a bigger difference from this one to the green one. And yes, of course, if I'm holding both of them or side by side, yes, there is some differences. But sometimes, if you're out walking or whatever it is, you can't really tell the difference always. And that's the same thing about people uh, people taking pictures of this one and the green one. Sometimes I can't really tell the difference if there's a filter, the Instagram filter or whatever on it, and there's not a really, really big difference. So my uh, end point out of all of this is that I thought this one was gonna be a lot whiter. I actually hoped that this stripe was gonna be paper white and not this bone white off white. but. I still love it, don't get me wrong, I love this shoe and that's why I got this white one, the Oreo, and the green one, because I think both of them looks really, really good. Other than that, this is, like this one needs no introduction at all. If you wanna see a more detailed review on this one, you can click right here and I'll have the red and the green and the beluga and everyone else so you can take a more in-depth look at this shoe. But otherwise, I love this shoe. As you all know, no, 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 not all of you, but some of you know that I live in Sweden nowadays. I used to live in LA. And this one is perfect for the Swedish weather because it's always a little bit more dirty and rainy and so on. So the black sole is gonna do really well. This is a super, super comfortable shoe. The additional boost at the back, the upper of prime knit, this new design with the big stripe at the side. This is an Excellent shoe, I love it. Let's move on to the next one. All right, so let's move these ones back for now, and let's move on with the NND OG Prime Knit. This is, as you can tell, this is the first major difference between the first release and the second release. This is the same shoe, the same product number, but there's a big, big difference. Both of them come from the same place, so it's not like I got one from Adidas and one from uh, sneakers and stuff or something else. Both of them were bought from Adidas uh, Sweden Europe and the original release was in this blue and white Adidas box. And this one that was recent recently released is in this all 
black box. So as you can tell, the differences are pretty big by first look. I would, I actually thought that since the original was uh, was released in this blue one, I thought that this one was going to be released in the same one. But since all the newer NMDs are being released in this type of box, so they just probably went with this one instead of this one. But this is the first major difference. As you, and as you can tell by the labels, they are identical. The only difference is that the the newer one says NMD R1 PrimeNet and the older one says NMD Runner PrimeNet. So that's the first differences. So let's take a look at the shoes. So the first thing that's the major difference is that the paper, just a small little thing, but the paper on the new one is a lot more white and we can see the logo a lot more clearly than the original one, the first release. This one, the paper on this one is a lot more transparent. But if we take out both of them, the right shoe, and place this one here and then this one here um so first look no differences at all so let's take a look at the upper of this shoe there's same type of um no differences at all the the side the inner the outer the back underneath and on the inside no, I can't really see any differences at all on this shoe. This is exactly the same. The only difference is the box and then the one that says um, Runner Primate and the other one that says uh, R1 Primate. Small things, doesn't even matter at all. Lovely shoe, I love this shoe, really dope. Excellent materials, feels great. This OG colorway is excellent, rock and stock. So this is gonna be a perfect uh, uh, additional pair for my little collection. What do you guys think? Uh, do you need two pairs or are you just gonna go, nope, I have my original one, I do not need this one. Let me know. So let's take a look at the last pair, the Ultra Boost 3.0. I'm a super big fan of the Uncaged. A lot of people already has heard me saying this multiple times before and that's probably the reason why I haven't really tried this one out yet because that Ultra Boost Uncaged is in my opinion the perfect shoe. This one does not, or I'm, I'm not gonna say this one because I, I haven't really tried it out yet but the Ultra Boost uh, uh, 1.0 was not as comfortable as the Uncaged. Uncaged really sits on your foot while the 1.0, in my opinion, on my feet is not as comfortable. Not Ultra Boost is just as comfortable, but the way it feels on your feet, I think the Uncaged is a lot better. But I'm really curious about this because I haven't really tried it out. I'm gonna say this, that uh, I'm gonna make a full detailed review on this one later on, maybe next week or next, I haven't really decided yet. So I'm just gonna go over this one pretty quickly because I really wanna make a uh, full review of this shoe. So that's coming up in the next week. So stay tuned for that. Other than that, it's Ultra Boost. I got in a size 11, my true to size. And let's open it up. Here we go with the, the return receipts and everything else. And here we have it. The first time I'm taking a look at the 3.0. I have to take this one out just to feel everything from the prime knit. Uh, upper of prime knit. Gorgeous looking shoe, really, really good. I got in this blue colorway because uh, I already have too many, like you saw with the NMDs and uh, black ones. Uh, so I thought to myself, why not have a blue pair? I do not have that many blue pairs. So I thought that this would be the perfect choice for me. Other than that, if it's an excellent shoe, this Prime it actually feels really, really good. It, it is very similar to the Uncaged, and that's one of the things with the 1.0 and the other Ultra Boost is that it was not as soft like this one. So this, this might be very close, in my opinion, to the Uncaged because this Prime Knit is excellent. This is just a gorgeous shoe. I love the look of it and everything else. I know it's very similar to the 1.0 and 2.0, but this Prime Knit is the deal breaker. So I'm will, I will make a review, a full detail review of this one in the near, near future. So stay tuned for that. Love this shoe. So that was my little short review of 
my latest pickups, the 3.0, the Yeezy Boost 350, and then the, the new slash old, the NMD OG Prime Knit. I just love all of these, and these are my latest pickups. Uh, what is your latest pickups? What have you picked up lately in the last few weeks? Or, or even thinking about getting, even this weekend they are releasing the, the 3.0 Ultra Boost, at least in Europe. I, have a, I know I have a lot of my uh, American viewers and they've already released the 3.0 Cargo, the green one. But here in Europe they have not released it yet. It's actually releasing this weekend. So is anyone here in Europe planning on buying them or my American followers? Did you get that one? Do you love it and why? Uh, other than that, this was my little quick, re uh, quick review out of these latest sneaker pickups. What has been your latest sneaker pickups? And that was the end of that. Thanks you guys for watching. Hit that subscribe button right here. If you're new to my channel, leave a big thumbs up and I'll see you guys next week. Take care.